I didn't bring my earphone thingies. <laughs> Welcome to Chloe Ariel Soul Sessions. Oh wow, I get the light streaming through my glasses. I've got my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> I'm back, back up north now, which is nice. Back to the trees, back to Mother Earth. <laughs> Away from the city, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Um, I've got one person on. Um, thanks for connecting. Oh my God, far out. What a hectic couple of weeks I've been on. A massive journey. Hi, it's a Patriot. Hey doll, such a journey you are on, yes. <laughs> it's a mission, my friend. A mission um, that I greatly uh, and, and took the honor of taking. Um, massive journey. Um, to bring in harmonic frequency to uh, a particular dragon line down in Melbourne, a ley line um, that was being unfortunately disrupted by occult energy, which has been going on going on this planet for you know a millennia, thousands of years. Hi, Chiro sounds. Yeah, so we're getting more people on. Hey, Tennessee, how you going? Hello. <laughs> Thank you for being moderators. We'll have to see what happens. I've chosen this spot because um, I've got a tree behind me. Um, I feel, oh gosh, a bite on me. <laughs> Actually, maybe I have to get going. You know how it works. I think I probably have to get going and, and walk. I've just got bitten <laughs> by an ant. Gosh, every time I just want to sit down and channel. Ow. Okay. Mother Earth doesn't want me sitting down. It wants me chatting and talking. Oh, gosh. Hey, everyone. So, yes, this is almost like a reflection on the last couple of weeks, I feel, um, of doing the grid lines in um, Melbourne. It was pretty hectic, um, but definitely a call from Spirit and the Galactics um, to help with that. Um, I was just an anchor. So anchoring in the light um, purely through um, my being and consciousness. Um, we are going through some big times and it's very interesting, right? Because I kept on saying the eclipse, the eclipse, even though I kept, I, and to my friend who's an astrologer, my astrologer friends, I apologize <laughs> because um, it was the equinox at the time, uh, disclaimer. Uh, but I think why I was being told, um, because it's a big shift. Apparently it's like um, we haven't had this solar eclipse for like 5,000 years. So no wonder spirits like eclipse, eclipse. So the lunar and then the solar eclipse, right? Was the perfect time for actually bringing the new earth grid lines back into alignment. Um, this is happening all over the world. Um, and I've been guided to actually ask other people to activate grid lines as well. We've got some energy coming in now. Very nice blue energy. So it's a frequency. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about, um, yeah, there's a lot of, um, I was countering a lot of, um, we could say, uh, dark there, um, but I learned a big lesson there, and that was to not give my power and energy and perception away to that, even though that energy, occult, dark, was trying to basically capture my energy um, to say, you know, in a sort of vampiric way, look at me, look at me. And I was like, no, actually, I've got a mission here. My purpose is much more important. I've had a few dizzy spells with these energy shifts. Yeah, they're big energy shifts. Um, we've got a lot of gamma rays coming to the earth, um, which Mother Earth is wanting to remove her sha the shackles that she has been under for a millennia um, on the grid lines. Um, it's really important. I keep on going on about the grid lines, but you understand that the grid lines and the dragon points actually connect 
to uh, stargates and portals that have been corrupted and harnessed and taken over for a many, many a millennia. It is now that it is now time that these portals are shifting into high vibrational frequency. So we've actually been, and you can see this on the, on this planetary system, right? You can see um, the harnessing and the capturing of the hijacking of our consciousness towards looking at, you know, who's in positions of power, right? Who, hey, WHO, uh, just all the satanic, dark, depopulation, all of that, yucky, icky, sticky, HT, um, just everything, right? Um, it's not natural. It's not our natural uh, way of being, right? Our natural way is to connect into the earth grid lines, be connected to the trees, connected into Mother Earth. These um, grid lines have been corrupted by um, and have been out of balance. So we've got the um, patri patriarchal um, a disconnect from the matriarchal, a, a subjugation, I would say is the word, of, of the feminine on this planet, which is really shifting. It's come to pass that I've had a lifetime, um, that's a house. <laughs> I'm actually at the portal, funnily enough, that the sass came through. Uh, I just felt like I wanted to be here at this particular energetic portal. I'm just going to put my shoes on. Gonna, we are going to walk. Hey, you cheeky, midi, pats, Kentucky. Hey, puck elf, how you going? Yeah, it's in interesting because suddenly I, I see everyone's talking about um, the grid lines all of a sudden, you know. Um, it's quite fascinating. All over the world, um, channelers are, and astrologers and everyone's, you know, picking up on the same thing. So channeling is so very interesting because... I just completely trust what comes through and it's very interesting how it gets verified. Um, I'm just gonna breathe in and out a few times. I've also had to decompress a little bit from the full on journey. It took me 10 hours driving on Saturday. I stayed overnight um, and then another eight hours um, driving on Sunday. It's a big drive uh, all the way to get up here. So I've been back here for, this is my third day here and I'm still, uh, decompressing from that experience um it's very interesting to watch the videos and like i don't want to focus on the dark but like very interesting the, the experiences and just it's just bizarre it's it's actually otherworldly um the experiences of all that and I, there's even more things that i wanted to talk about um actually and i will go into it a little bit um uh observe don't uh absorb yeah so it's interesting the observations that you make just gonna grab some water oh don't trip over oh gosh <laughs> they don't want me sitting there for some reason my anxiety in mental health has been hectic today link cares okay well yeah it's the energy is really um amping up puck elf so what you need to do and what i'll do with everyone let's do it now we got the nice tree in the background oh, i like it with the wide view huh nice okay park elf ground connect into mother earth she needs your connection right she will help you through these times so what we're actually going to do is connect in like i did when my eyes changed ice blue and i feel like they're starting to now is connect into the new earth grid lines right these are the earth grid lines that were on our planet when we were much more highly um when the planet was much more highly activated right in a high dimensional frequency so we're connecting into the new earth grid lines which connects into an ancient part of yourself and your dna to bypass all this um consciousness there's a lot of fear going on with this um um eclipse just don't worry about it forget it don't get pulled into the fear it's really important during this time is just not give it any energy why it's no point you know we're actually much more powerful than we are given credit for um just purely through our intention um we can shift frequency into one of disruption into harmonic fre frequency right okay silver light moon okay cool so let's do that puck elf and everyone else if you'd like to just ground your energy what if i can have this stand up 
Oh, I think it only goes so far. <laughs> I'll hold it here. I wonder if that'll work. It's a little tripod a bit. It may fall over now. I'll hold it. Okay, so what we're going to do is just ground your energy deep into the new earth grid lines of this planet. <sighs> Purely with your intention. Ground your energy deep, 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 like roots going down, like the, the tree here, fuck elf. Grounding, 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 all the way in with your intention is to connect into the new earth grid lines of this planet. Yes, dear ones, we are shifting frequency. It is felt now with much of the consciousness on your planet are feeling this great shift into one of a harmonic convergence. This harmonic convergence has been at a pivotal point now and the point is the eclipses, eclipses between the eclipse. It is not just one point, but it is many points on your planet that are activating and removing the lower vibrational frequencies that have grappled with the planet Mother Earth and tried to um, overtake her energy and have succeeded over many a millennia. Understand that these portals are also reactivating the new star grids. Star grids, that's different. Yes, understand that we are moving into a high vibra vibrational frequency on a larger planetary sphere as well. The star grids are also reconnecting with the mother. She has been lost over many, many a millennia as your consciousness on this planet has been hijacked and has been lost. You are now reconverging with the galactic star brothers and sisters. This is a great time of great shifting and great changes and reveals of what has truly been going on on your planet. We and your consciousness and the people will take back their power. No longer will be, you will not be under a, I can hear a fugal system. Like that's basically what we've been under, like a fugal overlord kind of system where you are, have been worshipping false idols is the word. You have been worshipping the celebrities. You have been worshipping politics. You've been worshipping all the divisive, lower vibrational frequencies and the people from the occult, you know. This is shifting as you're realising your power, dear ones. The energy within you is increasing. The spirit and your consciousness is increasing and it is taking many more codes from the planetary system itself. We are all activating your DNA and bringing more of your spirit into this matter, into this body, into this human form. Walking. Do I need water? Yeah, I'll go get water. Wow, that's cool. The matriarchal system has been completely subjugated and has been under the thumb. This is not balanced, dear ones. This is not balanced and it's created many disruptions on your planet. The disruptions where your government bodies overtake the earth, where you are ripping and tearing and taking resources from the mother that is not yours. This is a time of great birthing into the solar system and rejoining our, your galactic brothers and sisters and also taking care of and being guardians of Mother Earth. You do not seek dominion over Mother Earth for that is not your role. Your human species unfortunately has gone the wrong path. Many of you are understanding this intrinsically on a deeper, much, much deeper level. The assaults that have happened to the women and the children over the course of hundreds of years. The great shaking that is occurring on this planet is a consciousness of waves of gamma rays, of energies that are shifting the vibrational frequencies, lifting you up as a consciousness and making you realize the power that you do have. 
to take your power back and take the perspective away from these le people in positions of leadership. <sighs> See, dear ones, the leadership is within you all. You have the power within you. As it is your heart, as it is your consciousness, as it is the feminine qualities of opening the heart and nurturing and taking care of one another. There has been a major disruption in regards to not caring, separateness, the separation of your species from one another as well. You have noticed this over the past four years, yes? <sighs> separation, divisiveness tactics, lockdowns placed in people's homes, placing people in their homes, disconnecting them from loved ones. You understand, do the opposite. Connections, love each other, understand each other. And I wanna say, they wanted me to say, there's a Rumi poem, which I really, really like, and I found quite amazing. Because going down to Melbourne, I also reconnected with family that I haven't really seen because of the tactics and the ideology of ripping families and everything apart. Um, that healed down there, it was quite amazing. And um, there's a Rumi poem, right? And you can use this, take this, right? Meet me in the field between right and wrong. So meet me in the place we've got more in common, all of us, than what we have that is uncommon. You know, so meet me in the field between right and wrong. So somewhere in between that we can meet and greet and bring hearts together and understand each other. Yeah, it's very interesting down in Melbourne, all the divisive politics, gender politics. It's really in, in your face, you know, the war on sexes and you know it's just like it's all in your face you start realizing how divisive and pulling everyone apart that is so the opposite is coming back to the mother coming back to the earth don't get pulled in all these one fear fearful fear 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 in the news fear 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 this is going to happen that's going to happen you know i just went I just don't want to give my power away to that anymore. And even everything that was actually happening to me in Melbourne, I can talk about, you know, the psychotronic warfare, which was actually happening. Um, I realized an amazing thing. They were trying to pull me into victim consciousness and fear consciousness, as has been done as a, as a tactic over a millennia, millennia on a larger scale through psychological operations, right? PSYOPs, which is just a hijacking of your perspective and consciousness, right? I just went, oh, wow, I'm not going to go into that. And how I asked my higher self and the galactics and I said, how can I shift this frequency of the psycho that psychotronic warfare is what my guides told me what was happening. Um, it just just hectic stuff was happening. I said, oh, I'm going to stay at home today. And the roof started getting fixed. No one in the flats even got notified of it. It was just bizarre stuff, you know, and just extra stuff. But I don't really want to talk about it. Just weird people rocking up and then being at the same place as I was when I was in the state library as I was shifting the frequency there. Then the same person is there. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> so... I just said to spirit, okay, that's happening. How do I shift this? Because I'm shifting the frequency on the grid lines. How can I shift the frequency for what's happening on the level of this psychotronic warfare, right? And so they said, bring in a counter frequency. And I went, of course, because that's what I do on the grid lines, of course. And so I said, okay. And I sat there when it was happening. I took that video, I took it down. Because once I shifted it, I realized, oh, I don't really want to give my power away to any of that anymore. But it was actually occurring. And you could see my face getting red, the anxiety increasing. It was just hectic, right? So after that, I just went, okay, how do I do this? And they said, ask the galactics, your higher self, your guides, angels, ancestors, you know, the spirit world that you work with on a daily basis, daily basis to help and heal others, right? What do you do? 
So I said, okay, bring me the counter frequency that is going to balance what is happening to me right now. So as soon as that started, I got a flash of light above me and all through my body. And then I could breathe in deeply, in and out, in and out. So if this is ever happening to any of you, anyone who are experiences or who actually experience that, I was just amazed by it. I was like, oh my God. So it happened again a few times on a bus and in another place and another place. And I think if you're around a lot of 5G, you can also bring this in as well. This is how powerful we are, right? So I said, bring in the counter frequency of the psychotronic. Yes, I'm experiencing what that is. A psychotronic warfare, we don't really know what's going on. It's some um, frequency sent to you to kind of disrupt your biofield. Right? It's usually sent to people that are somehow bringing light. Light workers are somehow disrupting the system that they've got in order in place. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'm, 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 I believe that I'm powerful and I can shift this frequency. So I said, bring in the counter frequency, please. The higher my protectors, higher galactics, guides, angels, ancestors, please help me now. And I sat there, I breathed in. And I let that frequency wash over me. And lo and behold, no longer was I feeling that heightened sense of anxiety and yuckiness, yucky ickiness, you know, lower vibrational frequency, right? When you go into a house that is haunted or, you know, the State Library of Melbourne that I was sent to um, while they were doing their weird little rituals. And I just stood there holding the frequency, right? Anchoring in the light. I thought, why can't I do this on an individual level? And so I did. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. So this is the power that we actually have. And it's not coming from a place, and that's what they want people to feel, that they're victims, they're powerless, you know, I'm just powerless, oh, to all the energies around me. No, I'm not. Yes, I can put, you know, um, you know, <laughs> a cloak of invisibility, that helps. But that in itself is like, it's a frequency thing. It's going, okay, now I can just not allow any of that to come in. So I did that. And I think that's going to be very helpful for a lot of people, actually. So, you know, you see a lot of um, information out there about, you know, tactics, 5G, frequency, DEWs. Um, but I, th I feel and I know that we can counteract that. We really can with our consciousness, 100%. It's a bit wet here on the ground. Had a bit of rain. Cleansing the earth here. You should probably seen a lot of that go on lately. A lot of earth cleansing. Okay, so information's coming through again. <sighs> Dear ones, we want you to understand that you are not powerless. You have all the gifts inside of you. You are deeply connected to the source and mother earth. And we are all working this frequency shifting together, enhancing the grid lines, removing the dark, stargates and portals that have hijacked your planet to be in a lower dimensional frequency we are shifting this and we are you can feel it i want you to go you can feel it you can feel the shift moving into and out of the powers that be and the structures that have hijacked our consciousness and our perspective and it's going back into the into the humans into people on this planet the power is within us. We don't have to see ourselves as victims. And I want to say, when they're telling me about this intergenerational um, hijacking of perspective too, that um, a feeling or a, a power, powerlessness feelings because of the disruptions and the wars that have gone on for thousands of years as well, that the, we could say death cult have, has created and, and placed on, interestingly enough, places of power. You'll notice a lot of places where soldiers have passed, massacres, etc., have, have been placed on portal, um, on powerful grid lines. So that is shifting, that has needed to shift. No longer does Mother Earth want any more blood spilt. 
So focusing on the light and you can see, actually as I'm connecting in now, I can see this amazing like blue light and we could say rainbow colors because it's not just one color because color holds frequency as well. So as the grid lines are working and shifting the frequencies, you'll notice on specific lines that you'll see the color. So as I'm looking on this line now, I, there, there is a line here where I am. And funnily enough, there's always roads and, you know, look at all the alignment in front of me. There's like trees. I mean, they're planted obviously on the line. The nature is around us showing us that this is a line it looks like blue and bright and silver white light but blue as well wow there's a lot of energy coming in now we want to congratulate and thank you all for participating in the removal of the dark energy and bringing in the rainbow lighted codes on this planet we are shifting it but we cannot shift it without your help so and they're giving me <laughs> a picture of um, Princess Leia and uh, in Star Wars <clears throat> when she goes to um, R2-D2 and she, that hologram comes out and she goes look you're our only hope you're our only hope you know so this is big stuff the grids and shifting the grids on this planetary level is huge, right? And I'm just, you know, a small town Australian girl, you know, but I, with the gamma rays and all the light coming to this planet, I've realized the potentiality of my spirit body and, you know, lifetimes that I've had before, one in Lumeria as a Lumerian high priestess, you know, that's probably why I'm in far north Australia, you know, we're all placed on different parts of the planet so we can shift the frequency here in our own way. Never underestimate yourself because you don't know, you know, the, the knowledge and the power that you have had in past incarnations that, you know, obviously is coming through this vessel, this channel here, but you have had lifetimes where you've had the knowledge in previous incarnations. <sighs> So realize your potential, understand that this is bigger than all of you, but at the same time, it's not so big that you can't undertake this task yourself. And they said it can be as simple as, and I can see someone lighting a fire on the ground and dancing around a fire. <laughs> it's really like getting back to the primordial mother earth connection like dancing in the grid lines just like we got from the spirit of the indigenous original people in um in victoria when we connected in that was quite cool um how they were like literally stomping into the grid line it's about reconnection right putting your feet on the earth reconnect um this will help many people in many ways with healings and so many ways they're saying it also realigns the masculine and feminine within ourselves as well as you are realigning the masculine and feminine grid lines back into balance because understand that the grid lines have been out of balance with the the feminine they most of them have been uh just masculine and to be in balance you must have the masculine and feminine in ba balance and both are relevant and both one, the masculine protects and holds the feminine and the feminine is able to open up and blossom, you know. And this is that opening of the portal of the great sun and in the sky, the eclipse, the opening of that is symbolic, you see. This is a great birthing is happening, the great opening of the galactic portal, connections to the galactic portal. There's a lot of light coming i'm getting a whole shift of light coming as we say that the eclipse is bringing more of the connection to the higher realms of the galactic i want to say federation but it's a galactic unified consciousness galactic unified consciousness onto this planetary sphere as it does this the stargates open to a higher frequency it is very very important because you understand as the grid lines are shifting your consciousness shifts at the same time 
you realize the power that you have within you to shift and take your perspective away from looking at these people's in, people in positions of power who reveal themselves to be very dark, occult members. Why would you want to follow that? Understand that you have the power within yourself as a conscious species and reconnect to the consciousness of the galaxy. Hmm. Mother Earth is waiting for you to work with her. Hmm. We are all waiting for you to work with us. She is expanding and shifting. She is so happy. I see her as, um, she looks like, um, I'm getting a picture of this Mexican woman with a big, big dress and she's got um, um, braids down the side of her hair and she's um, kind of in a big colder and, and she's like um, got a big stick and she's moving that, that cauldron of energy of light, right? And she's in there and she's singing and she's um, singing away and she goes, oh yes, now we are shifting it. And this is sound as well, how the harmonic frequencies of tones and sounds and we came to a realization that when I was shifting one of the grid lines that I didn't film um, in Victoria, um, the hertz of 528 hertz, which is a miracle tone, um, is uh, was very helpful for this one particular um, <clears throat> SRA place, church, etc. Um, that had taken over the eastern line, one particular grid. And it just happened so amazingly. I had people in the north, an elder in the north um, that I know, rang me at the time and we all worked together, one in the north, one in the east, one in the middle. And it was all like shifting. And it all happened within a couple of hours of each other. And we were just like, whoa, that's amazing. It's you call it the a psychic telegraph, <laughs> psychic telegraph <laughs> system, you know. When you have the ears to listen to Mother Mother Earth, right? <sighs> talking to, yeah, like talking to the lines, is that what you're saying? T? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, so drumming them up, singing them up, and yeah, you're right. Yeah. And um, light language. I'm getting so T as you said that the light language and the dolmens okay because T I know you're from Ireland so there's the dolmens that have the blue stone as well that are just wanting to shift that last little bit of ickiness right and you can actually see it when you look at the lines I've been to some lines over the years and um, you can feel it as you're like driving up to the point or, you know, because spirit's taken me to a few places, right, to activate points. And, um, oh, it's like a blanket of yuck, you know, and you're like, oh, gosh, you can feel this. That's usually a place that has, like, an entity. Um, don't be afraid of that. I just, with my imagination, I place it in a cage and send it into the light of, of the source, or you can set it into the great central sun, and that'll dissolve that. Um, you are that powerful, but we've unfortunately been told that we're not. Um, of course, because knowledge is power, right? So why would people in positions of power give that away to the general population? Because then they understand that they've been hijacking the consciousness and it's spells. It's like all these spells now are getting broken um, and we can shift that. And you'll notice a shift especially over the next week <laughs> you're going to notice that sort of counter as well as that counter trying to pull us back into a low vibrational frequency wars etc i'm not predicting anything i'm just saying that you'll probably notice a little bit of the counter because as the earth is shifting the frequency we are also not going to give that that energy our our perception anymore our perspective like we just go oh you know what it's how boring I'm bored of that. Like I did in Melbourne, I was like, I just, no matter what you put in front of me, the psychotronic, all the rest of it, the other people, the beings that stepped through these, <laughs> so crazy, the beings that literally stepped through these, I had this experience where these three police officers in Southern Cross Station stepped out of the toilet, three of them, and they all looked at me all at once with really dark eyes. It wasn't them, it was whatever was, working through them the lady next to me went oh my god that's odd 
and I, sh I went sure is <laughs> I just kept on kept on walking because you know on these grid lines you've there's a certain counter the dark right that they, they don't want that shift of frequency because that's where they understand the power is the spell has been broken the spells are to be broken and mother earth we have to be guardians of mother earth right we have to realize our potentiality to shift the frequency back into alignment that's why that situation with uh you know the taylor swift concert the mcg is a massive um we could say almost like a, a grid line that collects all of that energy right they collect the energy lelouch off off the population usually through fear because that's what the dark feeds on you can kind of see what who's working for who right and i'm not blaming talus with i think she's a lovely girl it's just the people that are behind her and underneath that place that shifted that frequency and i wanted to say it was really interesting for the first couple of days that i was in melbourne i had this vision i was looking outside the apartment that i was staying in and um I got this vision of like an um, artificial intelligence like overlay, uh, which is where that dark, the dark wants to take us down that sort of that timeline, right? And I was looking at it and then a white owl flew out from the bushes, a white owl, I mean, what an omen. And then basically like flapped near my face. Can you believe it? With its wings. And I was just like in shock. I was like, oh no, <laughs> went back inside the house and I kind of hid. And I went, okay, that was just for me to see the link between the occult and the artificial intelligence, right? And the dark energy, right? And then after we did the frequency shifting, that disappeared that ai overlay disappeared amazing right but then we go oh wow we don't have to give that energy anymore we don't have to give it any fear it's just kind of like its own consciousness that was kind of trying to overlay there and maybe this is what all the smart cities are kind of doing you know what i mean and it's funny when i looked in that world it was like all these drones i could see all these like drones near the window and I was like there's drones near the window like spy bots it was bizarre but then we shifted the frequency you know went to a few different places it was kind of weird with that um it was like that a big I got told to stay in this spot outside the state library after the frequency shifted inside and suddenly this whole protest started like happening around me so I was like what is going on and you could actually see all the police increase and agents increase and I was like what is happening and you could see security like talking to each other and it was just bizarre but I think that was kind of I don't know it was like a disruption energy but at the same time it was being bringing in um you know you, you can see what's going on and this is the great reveal and the truths are coming out of who's been running our planet right um and it's about shifting that now we have the power to shift it we have the power to shift it now i'm going to walk around back down this way yeah how's everyone going i'm going to i know i've had a few messages <laughs> wow you can see the trees aren't they great I so say, no wonder I've been channeling trees for four years, right? There's so much knowledge that comes with the trees. The trees are connection, obviously, to Mother Earth, the Great Mother. You know, it all started with the trees and then the channeling of the rocks and then the healing um, abilities really came forth. I mean, it helps that I have been a medium most of my life, one foot in spirit world and one for the other, but it doesn't stop anyone from activating this within their own DNA as the grid lines and the shifting of the consciousness does shift. We're activating parts of ourselves that have had lifetimes where we have had higher, been a part of a higher vibrational frequency, especially in Lemuria. After Lemuria, that's when the fall happened. And it's really just in the last week, it's becoming quite apparent how important those grid lines are. You know, this is, you know, the little people, us everyday people, how we can shift this planet in our own way, just through holding the light and the consciousness 
of all that is good and virtuous and lovely and wonderful and harmonic and full of grace and full of peace and bringing it back into alignment. I need to have some water. Also, Park Elf, um, I think we've got to drink more water during this time. I think it's also about flushing out toxins as well. Um, yeah, the star card, one foot in and one foot out. Oh yeah. I don't know how to get into this. Hang on, live chat. Oh dear, how do I do it? Oh yes, hi folks. That's not too bad. It's not, it's no WAP. I don't know what that means. There, okay. Oh, the Taylor, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, it's all occult symbology and everything, you know. Do we really have, we know it's there, right? I mean, it's kind of, it's very obvious now to a lot of people that that's what's been going on. Um, but instead of looking at it in a way and going, oh, we're, we're disempowered to it. How dare they? You know, these people in positions of powers. Get stuff, like kick them out. You know, we can just not give them our perspective either. And just go you know what our power is uh, in a consciousness level um, and connected to the earth outweighs that any day connect into the the mother earth and she'll provide sustenance and consciousness and activation in many ways she's shifting out of that low vibrational frequency you can't hold the chains anymore to that they certainly know that that their power and the dominion over the planet is decreasing, decreasing, yeah? So that was a good, lovely little lesson. Oh, I had other things happen, pretty weird. <laughs> I don't really want to give it my energy though, do you know what I mean? Because I'm so protected and so looked after that I just, I focused in on that and I just got guidance the whole way on where not to go and where to go. I got told not to go too far out of um too far out of um melbourne um and yeah you know it's just so because i mean also you don't want to go into like um paranoia either because it went when things like this happen over and over and over again um all they want to do is kind of like harness your fear loosh as well on the individual level so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to give you that. I'm just going to follow my guidance. I know I'm looked after, I'm very guided, and I'll just follow my intuition the whole way. And if anything, everyone has to follow their intuition. What's, what have I been saying over the last like four or five years? Hi, Susie B. How are you doing? Um, is follow your intuition. It will guide you, you know. Um, because when we go into fear, one, we can't think properly. We're kind of connected from our consciousness, our intuition when we go into fear. And if you take a few deep breaths, like I'm doing now, it's like I just want to give my energy into my higher self and my guidance and the higher order of the beautiful harmonic frequency that is activating on this planet. I want to give my energy to that. I want to say, you know, how can I bring more of that in? And what does my soul want me to do today? What what does my soul want me to do? Yeah, it's just saying to me, relax a bit. <laughs> You've been on a big journey. <laughs> what does that say? Oh gosh, this is chat and channeling, but um, sometimes I have to go into channeling a bit more. Uh at things love the old man in the train station that gave you jerkins looking for the bank oh really yeah you know the funny thing is about that it's a patriot like um he actually gave me the directions to the tree there is no 19 something or other that he gave me there is no bank there so he actually saw the direction of where that tree was <laughs> i thought whoa isn't that cool how it actually Everything is a symbol, everything is a sign. And I look back on it and I went, oh my God, he actually gave me the directions to that tree because there is no bank on that in that place. So he must have seen it through his eyes and the tree was like, okay, we're going to send her to here, but she has to follow her intuition. So as soon as I just went, oh my God, I'm just going to go with the flow. And you needed the tree, yeah, yeah. So that tree 
was a grandmother tree that was um, um, bringing in that green harmonic frequency that also needed to tend to after the rupture of the line. That first frequency that we brought in was a pink light frequency, um, looking back on it, um, that undid, because I mean, the vision that I got was when the, the occult and all of that do their things, they kind of put like a staff in the ground and it kind of creates all this cracking in the ground and cracking and disruption, right? It was breaking up that harmonic frequency of of the the feminine frequency actually and um the yarra river spirit helped me too really deeply because the yarra river held so much of the, the the beautiful feminine that was going to come in to balance the masculine and feminine of the line so and it was just a masculine line and didn't you didn't you couldn't even see the birds flying in because they actually i realized um I need the electromagnetic um, connections, right? And that's what they were saying. Look at the birds. There was no birds flying there. You could see it. There was like birds swimming in the water, but none of them were flying. It was really weird. Very, very strange. So I was like, look at all the signs. Look at all the signs, right? So that pink light brought, brought in that beautiful nurturing feminine energy back into balance on the line. And then the green light, I think, was kind of tending to and healing it. Um, with that grandmother tree um, so yeah how's that that guy gave me the address to the tree and I was like wow that's so cool how spirit works for other people as well to kind of send you in the right direction yeah but um, going back towards the I ended up going back towards the bank and then I just had this ugh, energy and you'll get it like okay you can call it psychic attacks all of that right um, it was kind of trying to like squash my heart like this black energy was kind of and I've had it before you know if you do this work you'll get the counter that's the thing but the more you deal with them the better you get at it right so I bought in this beautiful green dragon the dragons were helping me I had pink and green dragons because that was the the frequency of the color right so the dragon element which is a, one of the guardians of the earth that are becoming much more apparent especially to people who are you know connected into mother earth they blasted this light into my heart and like undid the dark energy that was trying to squash my heart so that was beautiful i am wearing green la 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 yeah so that was pretty cool they're really powerful i had some messages after from some of you that were saying oh you know make sure you get your dragon with you and I, I did I got told by my my guides to have my um, elemental dragons on my shoulders while I was doing the work after because I was getting that counter because um, yeah gosh that's a really loud noise I can't even see the plane can you You get these planes that you can't see. It's really strange. Maybe we can see it after a little bit. Du, 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 du. Yeah, du, 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 can't see it. Yeah, very interesting, right? But you know, there's this like strange thing, and this is the difference between. And I, I suppose I could tell you stuff that I kind of know intrinsically because of my past incarnations, right? One in Lumeria. Um, it was that we were. This is just from my recollections. We were. There was a war between the Atlanteans and the Lemurians. And I, you, I know Atlantis had high society and they had also high technology. But it's that same thing again, right? Where you've got the, you know, you know the connection um, using technology um, in a really evil way to harness their powers or artificial intelligence and all of that you know and also to use you know everything that i've been talking about psychotronic weapons blah 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 onto people but mother earth and our frequency can counteract that we, it really can so nothing can beat the harmonic frequency of this planet as she's raising ascension all of that stuff will be seen for what it is are taking humanity down a dark path that we will not let it the raising of everyone knowing the truth all the great reveals and bringing 
Mother Earth out of subjugation because that's what she has been in for a millennia. It's this like dominion over these Atlanta. Uh, no, I'm, I don't want to offend anyone about the Atlantean thing. It's just from my past life recollection about the Atlantean. And that's why the fall too, because they took us down into a really um, dark timeline when um, the war between the Lemurians and um, Atlanteans happened, right? I had a, a past life recollection where I'm in a viewer and I'm looking in this, um, this male and female priestess, priests and priestess. We've got three... Um, three women on the left of me I'm in the middle and there's two priestesses and a priest on the right and we're all looking through a viewer and we're trying to change the timeline right but then this little being from Atlantis comes through the dome with this little like weapon it was like equivalent to like a nuclear weapon on a, in a silver chamber puts it into the island and um, disappears through this tiny little portal through the dome and then the next thing we know, poof, the whole thing just blows up. Um, I don't know, we, we warned people that it would happen, um, but it was too late and it all just imploded and it wasn't good. And I, I do feel like <sighs> that was not good. <laughs> I still get this emotion that comes up about it, right? But. It, it's what we wanted as a consciousness, as a collective, is to to experience deeper ways of, um, uh, you know, going into a destructive timeline. So it's been a really long time, and but we're raising ascension now. And um, goodness, <laughs> it's big. It's really big. And I do feel that that it, the eclipse that's coming. It's it's bringing more of that harmonic frequency down. And we know that the light wins, but it's along the way that we still have to do the work, right? This is the energetic work, okay? I haven't shared that with anyone, by the way. <laughs> Kept that to myself. <laughs> but I remember in 2020, like, um, I recollected it and I remember the waves coming, but I didn't really get how the waves came because the island had a nuclear weapon that got exploded on it and the island went down um but atlantis has a different story you know they had technology that they misused and blah 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 so cause and effect that's what happened to them um yeah so we're still i mean it's thousands of years but the bigger picture is right the bigger picture is that that same those same beings have had dominion over this planet too and it, the times are shifting we have to bring it back into balance mother earth doesn't want it anymore she's had enough of it and she's sick of that she's over the suffering on this planet as well and you know it's civilians and and women and children and men of course have been the fodder of many cannons right in war she's sick of the blood that's being spilt on this earth um ah <sighs> It locks us into a lower dimensional timeline. It really does, on purpose. When you look at the actual reason for war overall, you're getting a bit of, bit, bit of a bigger picture, right? It's feeding these dark entities and dark low, lower galactics, self-serving galactics, right? Greys, Nordics, ones, Germans that work with our government, right? They're from the lower vibrations. We've been locked into lower these these lower uh, dark energies dimensions this is shifting it's it's incredibly powerful what's happening now on this planet and we're all a part of it yeah so it's you know yes we can look at it on the physical level right but on the energetic level it's good to get the overlay of the bigger picture right um yeah so i don't want to give my energy to them yes it is there but we can counter that frequency with our consciousness just as we can counter the energy that has harnessed technology to one disrupt the timelines two weather modification our consciousness can shift that so you notice that before that cyclone jasper situation i was just the messenger but they were showing us that we can use the torus fields of the planet to counteract 
um, any um, weather that you feel is weather mo modification that's going to cause mu much disruption on the planet or ha has been done for nefarious means such as earthquakes etc some earthquakes are natural some are not um, it's hard to okay let's ask spirit now because I just want to ask about that actually so how does one even know that there's going to be like an earthquake or weather, weather things like that you'll feel it you'll know it it's an intuitive thing so once you feel it and you know it work with the earth mother to help counteract um the what's the word um um extent of of that so we you work with consciousness and p people might think this is woo woo and la di da but it's very very powerful because we're going to get more of our consciousness and spirit activated within our dna yes but in our being itself so it'll be less of the physical matter and more of the spirit body energy first matter second right so if we put all of our thoughts prayer energy into an area that is you know perhaps going to go through um, a certain shift on the land formations um, we can counteract that we can even bring clouds because clouds have consciousness and water because water has memory and consciousness so you're getting the bigger picture right to bring it into places that have um, fires yeah dews etc yeah so this is like bigger than what we really realize are we all on the same page here <laughs> are, you, are you keeping up yeah it's big stuff um we need to understand that with our energy we can shift reality so we can counteract those energies bring um clouds where there were no clouds and this is why the old people the original people here some of them were the rainmakers. In Native American culture, you would hear about the rain dances. Oh my God, are you getting the bigger picture? Dancing on the earth, the grid lines, using and co-working with Mother Earth's energy to counteract that artificial intelligence overlay, the use of technology to have dominion over the planet. Wow, that's cool. It kind of all came together then. <laughs> so that's why, you know, working with the grid lines, working with the Mother Earth, right, will take us through these times in <laughs> a bigger way. That was really cool. That makes so much sense. Wow. So that's how they did it. So it's energy first, working with Mother Earth, asking for the rain to fall in places right and that's what the original the elders were talking about weeks ago before cyclone jasper i was a little bit like oh my god did i bring in the cyclone no i was just a messenger for it because they knew that that one was unfortunately harp technology and they wanted to say that we can counteract that and i think with our consciousness we may have done that i thought that wasn't at the time actually because i i traveled underneath it and I could see it and um, I was like no oh, no it's natural but the thing is through um, our consciousness we were slowing it down that's what I feel I feel on another level probably in a higher level that we were slowing it down yeah that's right and you can slow these things down if you believe and you know and you're working with I can hear the Taurus fields right so that's the spirals on the, of the planet right you can counteract those the effects of some of those um big weather systems and some of you are like oh yeah sure but it's true i 100 percent believe it our consciousness our energy overrides matter so think about this matter itself includes all of those chemicals that they place in the air boron aluminium blah 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 that's matter right consciousness overrides that so we can undo the effects of weather mod modification on a larger level just through our very thoughts just through seeing 
um, and lessening the effects of a great weather system, such as like a big tornado or a cyclone, you know, we can actually reduce the effects of that on a population. So I wanted to ask Spirit right now about earthquakes too, because how can we know that they you will get a feeling just like animals do deep within the bone, bones, a silence before the storm. Um, the humming of the humming of the earth changes. The humming, the uh, how do we know? It's about being in tune with the earth. You can actually feel the a, a different frequency. Actually, um, okay, this is one I'm hearing when you're connecting into the earth and the normal humming of the earth is um, um. So with the earthquake, you'll get things start like ramping up, it feels like. If you are more connected and grounded to the earth, you can actually feel and sense those subtle shifts. Hence why the animals generally are more connected there's a i can hear a deeper humming sound that comes from the core right so we're so disconnected from the earth how are we even going to know what the the frequency shifts and the harmonic shifts that happen before um an earthquake right that's why you really got to get connected my god that's quite fascinating yeah. by the way i learned through this as well <laughs> <laughs> through this noggin here who's been through the school system and etc cetera, etc cetera, right when you do channeling you just it's quite amazing oh wow 61 minutes lots of information coming through um is, he was coming in um drips before astronauts talk about eerie dark let's have a look i love you guys and your little um interjections it's awesome sorry about my thumb uh Oh yeah, what does that say? Astronauts talk about an eerie dark quietness of space and there's earth hum. Oh yeah, NASA is trying to figure out how to simulate it for its cause. It messes your brain up. Oh. Well, a humming of the earth is very important for the, the equilibrium of the energy field and the brain itself actually. If you are much more in tune with the connection to the earth, you will feel deep within the bones and the body a shifting of the earth's frequency before an earthquake. Some will feel it, they say, um, in the bones, like their knees will get funny before, um, you know, the rain comes or the weather starts shifting. And I feel this is why we've got to look at the animals and, and see that they, they intrinsically feel that harmonic shift you know, so it, you in some ways might not know, but your intuition is telling you, hey, get out of this area or go to higher ground or et cetera. You really have to follow your intuition because we can't on a lot of levels really um, connect into that different harmonic frequency that shifts before the earthquakes come. Yeah, because we're so disconnected. But the more that we are connected, sometimes you can feel that shut, those subtle shifts on a deeper level. Yeah, all right. So that's why I keep on saying, follow your intuition in regards to earth changes going forward. Nothing to fear, don't go into fear. Just look at the good, see the great shifts that are happening on this planet are really positive. Even if you see, the the falling down of structures that have you know been have created dominion over this planet instead of working and being guardians of this planetary earth system they have in um inverted i feel convex is the word um the opposite way of what is truly good and truly rightful and of harmony um it's all shifting now <laughs> it's all shifting Hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah. There will be many shifts occurring on this planet. Um, the alignment of the poles and things like that, right? But you just have to follow your intuition. It's not going to be to the point of what we have had in past times with the catastrophic um, level of things, but there will be just a speeding up of 
of earthquakes, weather systems, um, floods, fires, that sort of thing. Some are natural, some are not natural. Um, yeah, and it's just to create discordant disharmony in some places, right? So uh, understanding that and knowing that through our consciousness, we can actually shift that destruction into one of connecting into the creator, the creation, connecting into Mother Earth, the creator of all that is, right? She it creates all the food that we eat, you know, just think about it. Everything that comes from her, um, we take in, even energetically. Anyway, I'm getting to that point where I'm starting to ponder <laughs> all the information. It's quite fascinating. Mm, I like that about the earthquakes and stuff like that. That's why it's so important to trust your intuition. So important. And I know and I understand that on this planet, um, it's been a sort of uh, a push and a move towards disconnecting people from their consciousness and their intuition through many means, such as the chemicals that are in the food, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But you, following your intuition is, is in many ways also about, do I want to live in a city? Do I want to live in the country? Where do I want to move to following those hunches? Because it's really important because we don't have all the bigger picture of places that um, will be changing over the course of 10 to 20 years. Um, continents that look completely different from what they used to look like. We've got continents that are re-emerging from the oceans and some that have or will bring in more water and you have inner, inner lakes, places that um, I can see in different continents um, the water coming in into different areas so it's really important to really follow your hunches and your intuition about places it's like I don't know why I don't want to go there or what I don't want to live there but it just feels like something's not right you don't have to have all the answers you just have to follow it just follow your intuition because once you start following it it's like a muscle that keeps on building up it gets stronger and stronger and stronger until you not you don't doubt yourself anymore because this in, in this reality, there's been a push towards doubting your own intuition as well. Yeah. All right. 67 minutes. Gosh. It feels like I'm, I'm in a lecture <laughs> today. <laughs> who, if, who have I been channeling today? Um, higher self. Higher self. Galactic. Galactic energy. Um, one that likes to lecture a bit, I think. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, it makes a lot of sense though, hey. Uh, we've got these cute little birds. A little woolly wagtail in the cane over there. Hey, want to show yourself? Oh, you're not a woolly wagtail, you're another bird. Hi. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to leave you guys with that. And um, that was wonderful. Yes. So you probably get a bit of a t um, picture of why I go and do these teachings because, um, um, you know, I've had lifetimes where I've done this in the mystery schools before and um it's all becoming quite apparent uh yeah it's pretty cool Alrighty, everyone and uh of course if you need a healing let me know i do healings depends on the consciousness of the individual and what they want to heal and let go of we can activate and um, let go of things that no longer serve us thank you so much everyone all right until next time oh by the way um midnight um, Midwest Night Watchers, who's on this channel, um, I'm go he's going to interview me with Chiro Sounds. Um, yeah, well, Puck Elf hooked me up because I do that work as well. Um, clearing entities and attachments and all of that. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll see you. Um, uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but it'll probably be something to do with these soul sessions. Um, probably a lot to ask me questions about and it'll be interesting where we go with it. So yeah, tune into Midwest Night Watch's channel. Um, uh, some, was it Piercing Through the Veil? I think it's a program. It's just on my Chloe Ariel Soul Sessions. Um, episode number 53, I think it is. All right, everyone. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for moderating this channel. I didn't even see if anyone really was really too low vibration today. I don't think there was. When I look back at all the messages, I think we 
are doing some awesome work. We didn't get any of the trolls today. That was just when I was in Melbourne, of course, you know, along with everything else that happened there. Some bunch of trolls to me. Okay, everyone, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for moderating. See ya. Bye-bye.